I've worked in catering for 14 years in the uni and just through, throughout that time I've dealt with people from the principal right down to the students and you see all types of people coming in day to day and it was just to say really about, about mental health and it's a big, a big issue now and I think in some cases you can see it with people and we particularly work with somebody who has mental health problems and you can see the change coming but I appreciate that in a lot of cases you don't do that. I struggled a bit with mental health, um, started when I was like about 18 years old, I'm now 24. Um, I've been doing things at sort of like my own pace, taking education like sort of a year at a time, taking a couple of years out when I needed it, uh, mostly due to mental health. I would say the biggest thing when it comes to your own mental health is really addressing it. When you feel sad every day, it's not normal to feel sad every day. You need to talk to someone about it. If it's your best friend, your mum, your brother, your sister, just let someone know. One of the things we do at the library is we make our faces known at freshers' fairs and we do library tours. We think the reasoning behind that is that the students would then be able to see us, be a friendly face if they were ever struggling or they needed somebody to talk to, that we're here for them to talk to. We're here in the library from 8 in the morning until 9 at night. Sometimes students just need a friendly face or a mother figure even just to offload to. Many stay away from home and don't have their parent support. At least if they know that they can come to library, it might help somebody who's in need of help. Uh, but it's not something you need to suffer alone. As they say, a problem shared is a problem halved. And, you know, being able to talk about it is, is the start of um, getting out of those difficulties. It's the, it's the beginning of finding a cure.